What is up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys the best colorblind mode to use in Fortnite Chapter 3. I'll start by giving some general information and knowledge about colorblind modes and then I'll hop into the actual game and show you guys each colorblind mode. And finally, we'll just compare all the different modes to figure out which one is the best. Before we get into this video though, be sure to drop a like if it helps you out and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more tips and tricks content just like this in the future. And also guys, with the Christmas season coming up, I've recently decided that I'm going to start setting aside some more time for streaming over on my Twitch channel so if you're interested in watching all sorts of stuff like arena gameplay playing with viewers and probably much more than that then be sure to check it out you can find my twitch either at the top of the description or at twitch.tv slash techo and i'm looking forward to seeing you guys there with that said though and without further ado let's get into today's video so to start off this video i want to begin by discussing what colorblind modes actually are and what they do for your game so to start off colorblind modes are essentially intended for colorblind people to use in order to see the game in a more balanced way but in fortnite colorblind modes have gained more use in a competitive sense as well Back in Chapter 1, colorblind modes became really popular as they allowed players to see through the storm better, which obviously gave a huge competitive advantage. But later on down the line, colorblind modes were basically nerfed, so now they don't really change the storm quite as much. But the main benefit players are still going to use colorblind modes for is simply the fact that they change the colors and general appearance of your game. And if a certain mode looks better, it can honestly make your whole experience better overall. While there's technically no competitive advantage to using colorblind modes, a lot of players, including pros like Scoped, Blake, and Ops, use colorblind modes to change the appearance of their game. The main thing to understand here is that while objectively colorblind modes don't make things easier to see, they can actually make it easier for you if you prefer a different color scheme in game. Basically what I'm saying is colorblind modes don't inherently make anything easier to see, but depending on your own vision and your overall preference, they might actually be helpful for you. But ultimately it really is going to come down to preference and it's going to be highly individual. Alrighty guys, so I am flying in right now and basically as I said, what we're going to do is basically just go through all the colorblind modes that the game has to offer. So as you guys can see, this is basically just the regular version version of the game and I'm gonna go ahead and drop up here and kind of just show you guys the difference. So just for reference it is the middle of the day in game right now when I'm doing this so let's hop in here hop into my settings. Alrighty guys so I'm assuming you probably know already how to set up your colorblind mode basically all you have to do is on this first page of your settings you just go ahead and flip through here and then flip through whatever um, I guess kind of level you want for it. So to start off we're gonna go to the first setting which is Deuteronope so just for reference this is the regular game you can see it right now obviously and then this is gonna be Deuteronope so you can see a huge difference and kind of the contrast like some things are super bright like the floor below me and then you see like the shadows on the trees are super dark so there's a lot of contrast to it even in the sky it's like oh my gosh look at the sky going up so with that said this next setting is protonope 10 and you can kind of tell with protonope it's kind of more mild it's definitely a lot brighter than deuteronope is overall but you can still kind of see that contrast like with the shadow of this stream specifically looking at you can see that big contrast between light and dark but you can also see light areas are very light and almost looks kind of similar to the regular game and then finally guys this is tritonope the last mode and keep in mind all these are at 10 so this is basically like a very bright version overall and it still does have the contrast and everything but overall it's a lot more bright than the other modes and it kind of makes everything look a bit more i mean i guess just a bit more bright it's got a real vibrant feel to everything and yeah overall i like it so next up guys i'm just gonna go ahead and turn everything to level five just so you can kind of see the milder versions of these so this here is deuteronope 5 and honestly to me it looks a little bit weirder than deuteronope 10 but like it's kind of that in between between the regular mode and then like the kind of dimmer version of Deuteronope that you see with the high level, but it still does look pretty good. Like I can totally see myself playing on something like this. Then you've got Protonope 5, which really does have that contrast. You can definitely tell. It is definitely a lot less extreme than 10 once again, but it looks pretty good overall. Like I wouldn't say there's any modes that I actually dislike. This one's kind of like in between Deuteronope and Tritonope in terms of darkness, I think. Obviously don't quote me on this because this is kind of just what I'm seeing, but I, I think that's pretty accurate. Alrighty guys, and finally Tritonope 5. You can see it's a lot darker. Well, it is getting kind of late yeah it actually is nighttime in game now or at least close to it i don't see the sun up there so keep in mind the colors are also going to change for that but finally going back to the good old regular mode and this is what it looks like so you can definitely see it's like pretty dark on regular mode as well the issue with going right into the game and actually showing each mode side by side is that the day cycle is constantly going in fortnite so it's constantly going from night to day night to day and it happens so fast that it's like hard to get like a very consistent look but with that said hopefully that gives you just a good general idea of what each one looks like and let's get back to the video so now that we've gotten through the in-game footage, guys, real quick, I just want to show you all four of those up on screen right now. As you can see, you can see the normal game. You can see Deuteronope, Protonope, and Tritonope all at 10. So basically, I just want to use this as a side-by-side -side in case you wanted to kind of see the colors next to each other. Now, keep in mind, this is just in one biome at one time a day, so it is going to be a bit different for your own experience, but hopefully this gives you a general idea of what it kind of looks like. So now that we've gone over each mode in-game and had our little comparison, I'm now going to give you my ultimate opinion on colorblind modes. Now, personally, I really like the idea of colorblind 
storyline modes a lot, and I do believe that they can make the overall experience better for a good amount of players. While the actual mode that you choose and which level you actually set it to are mostly going to come down to personal preference, I do absolutely recommend that everyone watching this video takes a bit of time just to experiment with colorblind modes and see what works. Personally, I mainly don't use colorblind modes for the sake of content creation, but I do think that if I was more focused on going pro in the game or otherwise trying to compete, I definitely would be using some sort of colorblind mode. But ultimately, guys, I recommend you hop into some matches, try each mode for yourself and see what works for you. Some of you might like a hardcore colorblind setting, for example, someone like Reverse 2K who uses Triton Oak 10, or you might prefer something a little bit more mild like Level 6, which Colazzo and Mero use, or you might simply prefer having colorblind mode off, which some pros like Mongrel and Benji opt for. Overall, it's really going to come down to preference, but I absolutely believe that colorblind modes can be super helpful if you do have a mode that you personally prefer. But with all that said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on the best colorblind mode to use in Fortnite Chapter 3. In conclusion, it's really going to come down to your own preference, but I do hope that this video gave you some ideas regarding whether or not you want to use colorblind mode at all, and hopefully my demonstration of all the different modes gave you a solid idea of which ones you might prefer. I strongly recommend, though, that you hop into the game and check them all out. If this video helped you out, then be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future. As well as that, feel free to use code TECO in the Fortnite item shop if you'd like to help your boy out. It's completely free and it really does help me out more than you think. And finally, guys, if you want to check out the streams, then my Twitch is going to be linked near the top of the description. I'd love if you guys could stop by and just see what's up. But with that said, thank you all for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.